I'm having some quiet time in my tent under the table. A naughty boy. I don't want to marry her. You can't make me. <laughs> I feel like it's where the late 80s, early 90s came to die. I guess that's why we're here. I'm going to clad the walls in fabric. I'm going to make it into a glamorous teepee. Glamorous teepee. All right, cool. We made the decision that we didn't fully need cohesion. Monica wanted to do her space in her way. I feel like I persuaded Tom. It was me who kind of was going for like, let's, let's do what we want instead of let's make one design. I would have liked if we could have had some more cohesion. And I am anxious about that. The plan is to make this living space into like an indoor tent. And this is that element. Um, so I decided I'd use this muslin because it's affordable. Um, and actually, it will give a really lovely, soft, drapey effect that hopefully, I mean, I might put it up and hate it. And I might all come off again. <laughs> Monica! Hey, Alan! How are you? All good, thank you. You all right? Uh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you all right? I used muscles there that I didn't even know I had. Good for you. Ooh. So tell us then, what's your scheme? I am going for a dark, romantic and magical space. Oh, how nice. Me, me, me this week, <laughs> not gonna lie. So you're going 100% Monica? Yes. When I was given this brief, I just thought, this is my chance. Yeah. Because let's be honest, I don't think they're gonna give me an abandoned palace or chateau <laughs> to do for a Dracula, you know? <laughs> You're gonna be gutted if next week it's Crypt Week. <laughs> do you know? I mean, oh oh my God. no, I've wasted everything I know. On, on the a wooden pyramid in Rutland. <laughs> <laughs> is there gonna be roadkill? Be honest. I don't know the circumstances of the death of this animal, but there will be a dead oh, animal. Oh well, but there'll be a dead animal in there. Yeah. <laughs> There he is. It's a mother duck. I am genuinely so happy. He's just so pretty. Hello, love. Oh, what are you doing on the floor? Oh, Safely. you were five seconds away from getting mouth to mouth then. <laughs> anyway, how's it all going? Good. I love the way, because you know what? Most people would be put off by this triangle. You're actually making a, a focal point about it. Hopefully, that's the plan. Yeah, yeah. you can't fight what you've got. Go with it. I'm really happy. I think what the canopy has done is made the space into a really elegant space. Dare I say cool? I love the fact that they've used soft white fabric in what is meant to be the groom suite. It's extremely zen sitting here. Extremely zen. I'm so, so proud of my room. The bedroom is everything that I was hoping and more. It's dark, it's moody, but it's elegant and it's magical and it is romantic. I'm so happy with the bedroom. Definitely carries across the language of the other room. It feels very connected and cohesive. It has the same distressed finish on the beams, which I do love. Yes. It all hangs together really well. This is a very strong statement as a room that has been thought about.